is Lori Williams, political science professor at Mount Royal University. She joins me from Calgary today. Great to see you, Lori. Good to see you, Andy. So I want to get your sense. Since the last time you and I spoke, it's been a few days now, more information has unfolded, more testimony. Your take on what we've seen here with regards to the government's involvement, specifically Trudeau and Morneau, uh, in the Weed Charity and acquiring it for, potentially acquiring it for the student program. Well, I think a few answers were given. And I think probably the most important thing is the, is the testimony of the Prime Minister and his Chief of Staff. Um, basically indicating what what they did do in the way of due diligence, what the civil service did, and probably more importantly than anything else, because I think there are still a lot of questions, is that that willingness to come before this, this committee that mm -hmm. they knew would be asking very tough questions, um, giving a sense of willingness to be sort of transparent and accountable. So that might have done some good, but mm -hmm. it hasn't answered all the questions. And, and much depends on, on how people react to the fact that there are still these outstanding questions. Uh, so far, the Prime Minister's poll polling numbers have taken a significant hit, mm -hmm. but the Conservatives are still not pulling ahead of the Liberals in polls so far, possibly because of the fact that the, the huge thing to take away from these committees is that nobody seems to be coming away having accomplished what they wanted to do. Um, least of all the the uh, opposition, particularly the Conservatives, yeah. who, who I think have made this more compli complicated mm -hmm. rather than simpler. And what we've learned from the SNC-Lavalin uh, controversy was that um, the complexity of it made made it difficult for Canadians to figure out what, if anything, had been done wrong. Yeah, now exactly. Now there are all questions being asked that are sort of more comp making that more complicated, and and some of them are looking, I think. Um, more uh, combative than interesting, interested in providing information or really yeah. having accountability to Canadians. So mm -hmm. I think some of that's been misplayed, but nobody's winning is the point. Nobody's getting anything, what they want out of this, these committee hearings that they wanted. Could we see, and we heard from the Prime Minister yesterday, and he did refer to his finance minister, Bill Morneau, saying he shouldn't have accepted any uh, any gifts uh, from we. We know that Morneau has apologized this, but could we see now the Prime Minister taking steps, perhaps in the form of a cabinet shovel, uh, shuffle in, or, or, or in other ways to say, okay, I'm we're going to show accountability on this to Canadians? Well, that, again, remains to be seen. Um, as Laurie Turnbull said, uh, much will depend on what's happening in the polls, and it may not be enough in the final analysis. But the big problem for, big, for Bill Morneau is that he forgot about $41,000, which is absolutely incomprehensible to most Canadians. Mm -hmm. That feeds into particularly the, the NDP narrative that this government is out of touch with the financial challenges and realities of, of most Canadians and for the finance minister to lose track of that kind of money and be that out of touch, touch with the financial reality of Canadians could present, I think, a significant problem. My guess, however, is that rather than a cabinet shuffle mm. or a firing, uh, mm -hmm. I think we're more likely to see a resignation where Mr. Mm. Morneau said, look, I recognize that I'm a liability to the party. I'm sorry for what I've done. I'm willing mm -hmm. to pay the price for what I've done. And, uh, and that way, um, there's not as, I think, a greater risk of the same standard being turned on, on the prime minister. It's interesting that you say that because on the one hand, we are hearing perhaps cabinet shuffle and Morneau will, will, will still have played some kind of role. But then to your point there, could he say, all right, you know what, this is about accountability and transparency and I'm going to resign from this. It'll be interesting to see what the next few days hold on this and we'll Indeed. certainly be talking about it. Laurie Williams, political science professor at Mount Royal University, speaking to me from Calgary. Great to have you as always, Laurie. Good chatting with you, Angie. Take care.